Hi, this is Rian from the Must Be Noob. In this video, we will guide you through creating a user account, a group and a OU in a newly promoted Windows Server 2025 domain controller. These tasks are foundational for managing users and resources in your domain. Before we begin, ensure that your Windows Server 2025 is fully promoted as a domain controller. You will also need to have the Active Directory Administrative Center installed which comes with the server's default tools. If you are not sure how to promote your server, check out our previous video for that step-by-step -step process. Now, let's open the Active Directory Users and Computers tool which is where we will create the user accounts, groups and OUs. From the server manager, navigate to Tools and click on Active Directory Users and Computers. First, let me create an organizational unit or OU. OUs are containers that will help you manage users, groups and computers in more structured way. Here's how we do it. Right click on your domain name on the left hand side. From the context menu, select New and then click on Organizational Unit. Give your OU a descriptive name such as HR Department or IT Team. For this example, we'll call it Sales Department. Click OK to create the OU. Next, we will create a group. Group allows you to manage permissions and resources more easily by applying them to multiple users at a once. To create a group, follow these steps. Navigate to the Sales Department OU we just created. Right click on the OU and choose New and then select Group. In the Group Name field, type a name for the group such as Sales Team. For Group Scope, choose Global and for Group Type, select Security to control access to resources. Click OK to create the group. Now the Sales Team group is ready to be populated with users. Now let's create a user account. User accounts allow individuals to log into the domain and access domain resources. Here's how to create a user account and assign them to the group. Go to the Sales Department OU, right click on the OU, choose New and then select User. Enter the user's first name, last name and logon name. For example, let's create a user called John Doe. This is going to be the user's logon name. Click Next. Make sure to choose a strong password and decide whether you want the user to change the password at next logon or leave it as is. Once done, click Next and click Finish to create the user account. You have successfully created the user account with the name John Doe. Now let's add a new user John Doe to the Sales Team group. Right click on the Sales Team group and select Properties. In the Group Properties window, go to the Members tab and click on Add. Type in the name of the user John and click Check Names. When the name results, click OK. To add this user to the Sales Team group, click Apply and OK. Now John Doe is a member of the Sales Team group and inherits all the permissions associated with that group. We have covered how to create an organizational unit, a group and a user account in your newly promoted Windows Server 2025 domain controller. In Step 1, we created an organizational unit called Sales Department. In Step 2, we created a security group called Sales Team. And in the Step 3, we created a user account for John Doe and added him to the Sales Team group. With that, you have successfully organized your users and resources. Remember, organizing users into OUs and groups is the best practice for managing permissions efficiently. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Happy learning!